Hey, dorks. I'm here now. Hi. <laughs> uh, I see a question, JM. What if we try offering cheese to the rat people? Great question. <laughs> I don't. I don't think they'll accept. Uh, we could try though. Anyway, hi. I'm here. Uh. Yeah. Not a not a whole lot to. Not a whole lot other than that to say. Uh, hopefully, sound continues to get slightly better each time. Um, I'm hoping it's okay right now. I keep. I've been fiddling with placement and stuff. Also, I've. I have my screen, like my my camera's reversed, right? And it's mostly just so that I can like look at it and it's like mirror view and not freaking out my brain. But I'm only just now realizing that it makes text on my shirt backwards. So I hope that's not distracting to anyone. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's just blam, blam. Yeah. Oh, I didn't turn on the lights. I was so busy. Doing all my other junk. Yeah? No? Okay. Where are all rats? Sra? Oh. <laughs> yes. My... My, my t-shirt. I'm wearing a Star Wars t-shirt, but... Can't tell because uh, it's backwards. And yeah, let me let me do my lights real quick because it's too hot for orange. I need blue. <laughs> Does that fix my at cam? No, not really. So I need to like lower the tolerance on it a little more fiddly than I wanted it to be. Let's see here. Here. Create. Yes. There. And. There. Yes. I'm also, also going to crank down the sensitivity on that right there. There we go. I enjoy your nail varnish matches the general branding of the stream today. It does. This is one of my favorite colors. Here, hold on. I'm gonna show off my stuff. This is one of my all-time favorite colors. I don't know if I can get a real good... Oh, I have autofocus off, so I won't actually focus on my my hands as I do that. Um, but it's a um, it's by a, it's a, by a YouTuber, uh, Simply Neological. The Hollow Taco brand is fantastic. Uh, this is one of the the seasonal. Not seasonal, what, special release type things. Um, I believe it's Lost in the Woods, I think it's called, but it's a real dark green sparkly thing. Um, if I could get a real, if I could get a good picture of it, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with my camera right now. Um, I'll post pictures of it on, on Macedon. How about that? I'll post a good picture on Macedon. I can even do that as we're going. Um, but it's, it's sparkly and green and amazing. And that's, that's all that really matters, right? It's going to be too dark in here to get a real good photo. <laughs> I'll post a photo later. Um, but I've been having I've been having a lot of fun with nail polish. What can I say? Um, yet to venture into nail varnish, but I'm envious. Yeah, do it. Sparkling green and amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I've, I've been enjoying it. I've noticed that um, mini painting skill translates a bit into nail painting. So having like e even just like fine detail work in general kind of translates pretty well. So like having some you already got combat. Oh, it's, it's the rat people. Um, so I noticed that it's like as soon as I started painting my nails, it took me not too long to get pretty decent at it. And people were asking me like, oh, where'd you go to get your nails done? And being surprised when I said that I did it on my own because they look nice. And yeah, <laughs> yes, I am the miniature. Um, I even have metallics. Like I, one of my favorite series of of colors that I have are all metallics, and they all look fantastic. 
Um, especially in like bright light and natural light and sun and all the things that this place is not right now. Um, but if you, you ever see me outside, my nails are kind of fantastic. At least they are right now. They aren't always. Anyway, we have dwarves. Uh, I was just taking a look at all of our stuff right before the stream started. Needs empty cage. Right, so we're we're out of cages and we're out of wood to make more cages. And we're almost out of trees even. Bayberry. Other ascetic things I'm impressed. The dwarves at the bottom look the same. It remembered me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it's a whole... Oh, you're like... I'm trying to... Here we go. I'm, I'm kind of trying to keep my face clear of the avatars under most circumstances, just so that if I make a clip, then I don't have... It can be... It might be a little distracting if, if they're in there and you don't know why. Um, so yeah, I'm right now everyone's kind of in, in jail down there. Uh, but yeah, it's its own piece of software. Um, it's called Stream Avatars. You you pay for it, and and yeah, it remembers. Um, like I could even I can even go in and, and give people things proactively. I could I can wipe everyone's stuff. Um, yeah, there's a whole it's a whole thing. It's very cool. channel point reward potential exactly um right now everything's free but um actually i don't know if it's i don't know if it's channel points i was looking at it a little closer it seems like it has its own currency you can even name what the currency is uh and you, but you can set the rate at which viewers get currency it's mostly just if people are in chat like if the if if your username is in chat and the extension sees you, you will gain one gold for every X minutes, whatever you set. Um, and then you can set the prices of all the bits to be however much of those gold or whatever, or whatever you want to call it. So I don't think it actually turns into channel point redemption long term. I guess I, I need to double check about I know how that works. Uh, I'm still definitely fiddling with it. This was also if someone redeemed like 5k channel points, you could manually customize a dwarf. Yeah, yeah, I could just like, um, yeah. And, like I wouldn't even have to go in. I think you have like an inventory essentially. I wouldn't have to go in and say you are now wearing this hat. I think I could grant you the hat, and you you could choose to equip and unequip it whenever, and you would just continue to have like ownership of it. I think that's how it works. Anyway, we just created a uh, we just created an artifact, a mudstone figurine of dwarves. Cool. Sure, why not? Hello, cat. Uh, the skewered warmth. Okay. Uh, Eight thousand. Good job. All craft dwarfship of the highest quality. The item is masterfully designed image of dwarves. The dwarves are laboring. The artwork relates to the foundation of face earths by the faithful ore of the dipped ceiling in the early 122. Uh, encrusted with tapered baguette cut green jade. Decorated with llama wool. That's where the llama... You took the llama wool? <laughs> People are bleeding. <laughs> now this object is adorned with hanging rings of limonite menaces with spikes of mudstone. An image of pigtail and limonite. Cool. That's cool. Yeah, she really just kind of breezed on by, didn't she? Um, anyway, Rodent Woman and Bat are fighting. Still? Is that the same? The same two of you are just locked in eternal combat here? Rat vs. Bat. Who wins? Uh... Rodent woman strikes the giant bat in the head with shield. Strikes in the head with shield. Strikes in the head with shield. Strikes in the head with shield. <laughs> oh my gosh. This has been going on for a little while. 
Okay, uh, you have fun down there. Uh, right. So we need more access to wood. Murdering someone with a shield, yeah. Not quite murdering, they're still alive. Just a lot of bap bap bap. Look at all these saplings, oh goodness. I hope these grow quick-ish. I want to chop down some of these trees. Um, also double checking that I haven't left open any holes in here. I don't see any snow down here at least. Oh, there's an owl. I saw it. Always with the owls. A single... A single... Great Horned Owl. It's not even a person, it's just an owl. Hmm. Okay, maybe our dwarves are getting accustomed to... Our flying friends. <laughs> that cat didn't like it. Okay, but ultimately, what are we what are we working on? So we have this stuff. I'm yeah, it's still frozen. I was looking up the article about ice and frozen machinery. And I'm. It sounds like this will fix itself when we get the spring thaw. But I'm also kind of. It's kind of odd that it's frozen right now, because it says that if, if machinery is on a block of natural ice, the machinery will freeze. But it's not... We're not on a block of natural ice, we're on a constructed floor that has snow, that has ice underneath it. So I'm not sure... Some, some sort of weird bugginess is happening here, I don't think these should technically be frozen. Um, in the in this sense, so I'm curious if next year it solves itself and it they just don't freeze the same way again, or if we need to do something to fix it. Um, I'm wondering if I put like a roof over this whole little windmill setup. I'm wondering if a roof would prevent it from from icing and then thus freezing. So I think that's I'm kind of keeping an eye on that. Um, but you can see the machine is completely hooked up otherwise. Uh, it is, is making 120 power because we have 6, but it needs 133 total. I'm going to go ahead and put down just a couple more. Except we don't have wood. I don't have wood. Um, and I want to leave all these bayberries. Here's a pine. Let's just... We're going we're gonna to chop some trees. It's... I chop the pine and then have to put a roof there, I'm sure. Bayberry, bayberry. High wood. Might leave that high wood just as a aesthetic choice. There's a bayberry, bayberry, bayberry. Wow. Everything in here is just a bayberry already. Cool. Is this That's rock floor. Um, okay. Oh here we go. Bees! Bees! I was, I was looking over the fortress just before starting, and I realized that I had forgotten a step when setting up the beehives, and that's why bees weren't placed in there. But when you when you place it, this is like the default setup for when you place a hive. And bees style of check marks, where it like... Yeah, I don't know. I find that style st kind of confusing. Um, but you need to actually check this box so that it changes to install colony when ready and that will be what actually installs the colony so i i set these four to installing colonies and they already have so that didn't take long um but now we're gonna have these four are gonna be set to not gather products they're gonna save the colony for a split and what that means is that when this colony reaches some level of maturity they will split it and install it into one of these others. And then from these others, we will gather the products, and then that destroys the hive. So then you have kind of a, a group of seed colonies that are constantly being split to populate these other ones, and then these other ones are being used to produce product. So, in theory, now this will all 
be good to go. Yeah. Okay. So we'll keep an eye on that. Um, we've we have a jug order somewhere. Yes, we're making rock jugs, which is the manager is required. Did our manager die? I see. <laughs> um, gem cutter, you organize everything. Um, but jugs are used to... How does it work? You get like a honeycomb from the hive and then you have to press the honeycomb to get honey? I think we're gonna need... We're gonna need to make sure our power is working so we can get some like... I guess that'd be for millstone. Screw presses, I don't think you can hook up to power. Anyway, uh, let's get our, our manager set up here. I think it was this... Yeah, here. Manager. And... Manager. There we go. Uh, so we're okay so far. I do need to... I do want to fill out the sheriff at some point. That's fine. Hey, look, they're all training, watching fighting demonstration. Cool. Satisfied on approving everything. Unmet need, excitement. Oh. Oh, Stukas, you will have excitement. <laughs> don't, don't worry. You are front lines for excitement. Um. Oh, but the other thing that happened, or that I noticed, so this. So we're underground right now, right? But this was a... There was a pond here. And I accidentally tunneled out underneath the pond. And then we just floored over here uh, with the, the hole that we accidentally opened. But this whole section here is considered outdoors. Uh, this is con it's considered outdoors, but with a roof. It's a migrants. We don't have that much room. Hello, migrants. <laughs> and stoat. Uh, what are you, woodcrafter? Be merry! Cool. Who would you bring? The lamb. Cool. Uh, and then you are drowning in sadness. Okay. Uh... Uh, dip ceiling of the just ores, the silver of books. Mm -hmm. Has a good intellect and a sum of patience, but he has a meager creativity and iffy sense for music and meager kinesthetic sense. Lives at a slow going and leisurely place. Pace. Becomes very focused during conversations when he's angry. Hands jump all over the place when he's excited. <laughs> but why are you drowning in sadness? Troubled by unmet needs. Not distracted from a lot of things. Okay. Uh well I hope you <laughs> are okay. Or you will be okay. Um You're here with your wife. Do you know anyone else here? You know you have a cousin here. Cool. Oh, your cousin's in the military. That will cheer you up. <laughs> oh, look. A corpse. What happened here? What? What? Was that a stoat? Giant stoat. Stone crafter. I thought... Uh, the stoats have not been that dangerous. Damn. Jeez, okay. Well, Stonecrafter just got... Attacks. Agitated Stoat latches on firmly. Wow. Agitated Giant Stoat shakes the Stonecrafter around by the right upper arm, tearing apart the muscle, bruising the bone, tearing and tearing the muscle, bruising the bone, arteries have been opened, many nerves. That, this person got torn apart by a giant stoat. Oh. 
shakes the stone crafter around by the lower body, and the lower spine collapses. No, that's not a good way to go. That's not a good way to go. What about you? Is this the only... Is that it? Do you, do you have a kill? Uh, no. There's multiple stoats. Or is that other one just already in a cage, probably? Are you... No? Okay. Neat. I wonder... I wonder if the military is equipped enough to... take a kill order. Uh, we don't have shields. They have weapons. We're a little... a little low on boots. But they're wearing stuff. I mean, they got their crossbows. You have a, a shield. We should make some more shields. But I wonder... What if I just tell them to kill a stoat? I'm curious, A, how quickly they can respond. Because they are, in theory, they're just right here. Yeah. At least three of them are. I'm curious. And they're all gonna they're all gonna go grab equipment. Okay, well. <laughs> see see if they can show up. Other people have gone grown quite accustomed to roaming giant stoats, which is Oh here they are. Yeah, we already got four people here. Perfect. Um, I'm tempted to, like, go frame by frame here. This is gonna go pretty quick, I imagine. It's just running. Do you want to, like, shoot? Do you have... You don't have quivers. That's a thing to fix. Well, go kill it with... Oh, you have a quiver, just don't have bolts. You have a quiver with no bolts, but you have a bronze helm. Ooh. And you do not have a quiver. Okay. Well, go bash it with your with your crossbows. Okay. Well, if they're if they're gonna melee with crossbows. Maybe this will take a second longer than I thought it would. <laughs> Run! Catch it! Even just chasing it into a cage would be fine. Oh, got him quartered. And now what? Bleeding, exhausted. Hey, we're all here. All five of them are here. Perfect. And... Slowly beating it to death with wooden crossbows. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're gonna need to make some axes or something. <laughs> the road construction just continuing. And overexerted, unconscious, unconscious. This is uh, more of an even fight than I would like it to be. Uh, let's see, recruit. Bashes the giant stoat with crossbow, bruising the muscle. Yeah. Recruit bashes the stoat in the head. Horse bends the neck. Help save me, recruit is no longer stunned. Hmm. But what is the stoat doing? Nothing? Recruit passes out from exertion. They are passing out because they're hitting it so hard. With their their stupid wooden crossbows. <laughs> Well, that was a choice. Oh, there's some blood. Is that a good sign? It's unconscious. Okay, so we're gonna need we're gonna need some uh, some melee weapons here. And that was a a thing I've been debating about as well. 
Um, we have in the previous fortress. This is ridiculous. <laughs> in the previous fortress, we had squads where I told them to wield melee and ranged weapons. Um, so they would have like a crossbow hand and axe, which you which it works fine, I think. But I'm wondering if we would get some better outcomes with like some dedicated crossbow people and some dedicated melee people. I don't I don't know what's better there. Um, so I might keep these, or at least a couple of them. These are, we just have five in the squad right now. Do uh, you want to? Would you like to finish the stoat off? Someone with an axe or something? I don't think I can really even tell them to go grab something because they're not going to leave combat willingly. If I cancel this order. No, maybe they'll be fine. Yeah, we'll just leave it leave it there to bleed. <laughs> Take a break. Go eat a Snickers. Hey look, our road is done. We have a full we have a full road. Oh no. Tourist. What happened? Huh? Eh? What? For some reason, I always think of Snickers or Mars bars being English. Really? Those are the, I think of those as like being the most American thing ever. Mars bars, so ironically, like it's all the Mars company, right? But like the Mars bar is probably the least common one that we eat. Um, like I've seen them in the shops, but like Snickers is like Snickers, Twix, M and M's. Those are like the big ones. Uh, where is Urist? What happened to Urist? What does that mean? Confused. Uh, let's check in up here again. This is still... It's like two of them are still... Or three of them, even. <laughs> okay. So, let's take... How do we do this? We go equip. And I want to... I want to, like, assign individual things to people. So, like, you... Who's not here? We have Stukos. Oh, is the, Stukos the only one here still? Okay. So, let's say Fikod, our commander. Let's give him... Uh... You can choose, how about that, individual choice weapon. And we can say Mincot gets a axe. Axes are good. Uh, how is this sorted? All the weird metals down here. Battle hammer, battle axe. Okay, so I've done some Wikipedia digging. Mars was first manufactured in 32 in England. Huh. In S Slough, I believe is how you pronounce that. Uh, like most backwater place. Uh, but by Forrest Mars, the big U.S. company. Mars was discontinued in the U.S. after in 2202. Yeah. That sounds right. Like, I knew Mars was like... Of, like, Mars is like an empire, but we don't get Mars bars. Which has always been really funny to me. Um, but, like, Snickers are everywhere. Um, like, you could walk into literally any gas station in the U.S. and buy a Snickers. Uh, what was I... You, you, so you have a battle axe, and we'll say you get a not slashing. You get a hammer. Yeah. And then the other two will just stay ranged for now. 
Yeah. So then we'll at least have an edged weapon and a bl blunt weapon to deal with situations like that. And hopefully they can go figure that out and then come back. <laughs> uh, okay, still needing empty cages. Oh, yep, and we, we opened up a hole because of course floor here. Not copper bars. Ooh, look, we already have all these bars. They've been they've been busy. Uh, rock salt blocks. That works. And these are all. This is all ground. That's large. That's still. Of course it is. <gasps> is that a baby llama? We have we have given birth to a llama. Oh, I wish I could see with their parents. I want to see... Hmm. Yeah, I wish I could see, like, the family tr the family relations of, of pets and stuff. Snickers were called Marathon in the UK until the 90s, so old people are still mad about them making the branding consistent across both countries. That's really funny. Also, I'm, I'm not going to say something about people getting mad about anything. Um, oh, this was a... Okay, so here's a thing I was curious about. And I think we have an answer to. So we... We opened up this. We have, like, our our floor goes over to here. Perfect, yeah. So this, this section is considered outside, but with a roof. So these... This farm plot area here is outdoor farm. As far as the, the game is concerned. Which means we can grow outdoor crops. So when I when I opened up this this farm plot, it was like you can you can grow all the stuff here. I was curious if we can grow outdoor crops specifically on these tiles that are considered outdoor, or if the whole farm plot, like the farm plot itself, is like half of this. It's like this big. And it appears that we can grow on these tiles in particular. Which is really interesting. It makes sense. Like I was I was wondering if we could like poke a hole and then that allow a whole farm plot to be outside, but no, I don't think we can we can't exploit it quite like that. But we we can grow outside stuff right here. Uh, so I might even let's do this. I'll we'll we'll keep growing this because we have a uh a whatchamacallit, a crop going. And in theory, all the seeds should be coming here. Yeah. Uh, but I told them to start growing some whip vines, because whip vines are good. Whip vines are going to be good for, for flour and food and stuff. So, currently we are growing whip vines uh, underground. Now, the surface is quiet. Wow, there's no one up here. Not that there's nothing that needs to be done. I just saw a tree grow. That's cool. Yeah, mid-spring, all the stuff is going to grow now. Cool. Now, and in theory, well, it's going to be like summer before we have... <laughs> ...the stuff actually thaws, but that's fine. Okay. So that's going. What else are we working on? Our... <laughs> Silly indoor mud pile there. We have our trade depot made. Um, oh, and we're gonna we're gonna turn this into what you would call it fortifications. Mm, yeah, we'll do, do that too. They're all training. Uh, I never did make. Weapon stands and such. Let's just do rock weapon stand. Or rack. Um, and I'm just going to do a one time order of five. Um, 
Oh yeah, and then I dug this out so that this can be our stockpile for military stuff. So I'm just going to make one big stockpile, and this will be for ammo, and armor, and weapons. Or, I can't, can't do it that way. I have to come in here. Armor. Oh. Ammo. I am blind. There. Oops. Very top. Okay. And we'll give it a couple wheelbarrows. And then... It was this one. Yeah, so we'll, we're just going to delete this whole... That whole stockpile. That's just gems. We have straight llama wool. Look at that. This is all bar blocks. Jeez. Uh, we have a lot of coke. How are we on... No, I just had that on repeat for a minute. Bars. 180 coke. Cool. We could probably make... I mean, iron. Getting some steel weapons would be very helpful. Maybe we'll just do a like a limited run of some steel weapons while we're still getting everything else sorted. Because uh, we have we have the ingredients for that. Oh, and, and anvils, that's right. Um, so I'm going to say iron anvil. It feels so wrong to be making anvils on purpose now after our last fortress with our mayor who was requesting anvils like every month. Um, we don't have those here, so... Um, I'm just going to make three anvils, and then also, to make steel from iron, we first need to make pig iron as an intermediate step. And I'll leave five at a time. Restarts check daily, amount of pig iron. The, so, since pig iron is just an intermediate step between iron and steel, I keep it kind of, its levels kind of low. Um... Oh, we're going to need flux. That's going to be the thing. Iron, flux, and coal. As long as we have all this stuff. Why is... Unclear. Um, but then we make, make steel. Or... Steel bar. Yeah, make steel bars. Um, same thing. We'll do five. Check daily. Steel. And it takes it takes everything. Okay. Yeah, and I'm gonna keep the the amount of steel itself pretty low too. And then we'll we'll keep we'll you know make more as we as we use it. Um, but yeah, the, so now now we need to find flux, which I know I've seen some. Um, I know that we we have some marble in our in our stocks stones. Yeah, we have a single marble and no chalk. Those are kind of... That's a lot of magnetite. Those are kind of the flux stones. Um, oh, and I, I I made a couple of designations while uh, while not streaming. Um, so these are going to be for nest boxes. I don't know... Let's see. Forming nest boxes. Those are weird icons. S box. Huh. I haven't seen that specific icon before. Okay. So what am I looking for? S box. And then we'll just remove these and they'll get moved over. What's your favorite candy bar? Or what's a candy bar that we don't we probably don't have? 
I'm remembering... Uh, so... I don't know if that actually still... Jeez, yeah, we need some wood. I don't know if that actually still happens, but Reddit does the, um... The, the exchanges, the gift exchanges. Like, they do this, the, the Secret Santa was a real big thing for a while. And then they had... And they, like, spawned a whole bunch of different things. Um, kind of in the same vein. But... There was a snack exchange that I partook in at one point, and I got a box of snacks from someone in the UK. So I got a whole bunch of UK snacks, and that was that was cool. Um, I ate most of them. <laughs> most of them were pretty good. Um, I'm trying to have trying to even remember. I know there were uh, like there were Stroop waffles in there. Hey, look, we got oh, there's all this cloth and yarn, pool and splints and buckets. Okay, perfect. Do these work? Oh, one of them works. That's fine. Uh, we're looking for flux. We're on the hunt for marble. There's all oh, look all this magnetite, limonite. Jeez. There's a bunch more jet down here. Cool. Let's keep digging out the jet. And go, go a little further. This is limonite. The fact that we found a tiny bit of marble. Turquoise. Magnetite. Caves are nice for... Ooh, look at all this jasper. Caves can be nice for prospecting, essentially, because you get all basically all these walls exposed for free. Um, oh, yeah, and we want to make a ballista. Well, this is... I mean, we got cage traps here. Maybe we'll just we'll hook that up and be careful. Is that rat still down here? The rat eventually beat the bat. Rotten bat corpse. Um, are there currently any rats down here? Oh, we have a ghostly carpenter. We should definitely take care of that. Um, now that I've... Ugh. Oh, I wanted to... That's right, I was doing... This is why. Nope, there's a giant stoat, a cave swallow, a crocodile, and a ghost. Oh, and a rodent. There. We have a single rodent. Seriously injured. With a shield and nothing else. And it is covered in both its blood and the bat blood. And ulm blood. And crocodile blood. Okay. Uh, well, I don't immediately see marble, our source of marble. It's all cobalite. Ooh. Morian clusters. Uh, that's all tetrahedrite. That's all diorite, microcline, tetrahedrite. Ooh! Here we go. Whole whole chunk of it. Marble usually comes in, in big chunks like that. Oh, perfect. Okay. So here's our quarry. Um, and like how f we're like snugly between two caves. Perfect. Just dig. Now there is there is some auto mining stuff. Like only ore and gems, but Marble doesn't count as an ore, which makes sense because it isn't. Um, so I don't think I don't think auto mining would work. Yeah, um, but like this, like all this Galena. Not that I care about Galena right now. You can have it like follow these veins because these will be will be like strips. We'll be kind of kind of wiggle around, and with auto mine you can have them just follow the vein and just dig out the. Uh, the ore itself, or the clusters of gems, it's really useful for too. Um, here's more marble. Okay, we're gonna be fine. Ooh, granite. 
More granite. And cassiterite. Never really looked at all the stuff that was down here. Tetrahedrite, tetrahedrite, quartzite. Ooh. Uh, but like if we come up here, I saw most of our iron ore was further up, I believe. Um, I guess I'm gonna tell I'm gonna let them start digging on that. Tetrahedrite, diorite, tetrahedrite. Um, or like here, there's some clusters. We'll do gems. And I'll say do that. Uh, Garthly, Ghostly Carpenter, that's right. Need to, <laughs> need to fix that. Um, diorite. Yeah, okay. And like all these zircons and stuff. Uh, but we're... Where was I seeing? Here's magnetite. So here. So we do want to be careful. So I bet you this vein connects all the way. So if you you tell them to just auto mine, they might like actually breach the reservoir like that. Uh, I'll actually know because this tile is technically revealed. I don't think it will add a designation to a tile that it doesn't reveal. But I also don't want to risk it. I would rather not flood my fortress today. Uh, let's go like this. One thing we can do is we'll do... That, and this is our... It's our overflow, right? So I don't actually want to open that up. Um, but like this, I'll put a... Basically a fire break. So then I can, like once all this is dug, then I could tell them to auto mine a, a vein in here and they wouldn't go past, like they wouldn't cross a hallway to start digging on the other side. Uh, so that will be helpful. Uh, we do want to deal with the ghost, which we do over one of these that doesn't have a bunch of jobs. Nope, no luck, okay. Uh, engrave to Ish tan Ghost. And then we'll prioritize that. And that will be good. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to rearrange some of this. I noticed we didn't have a tannery, so I made a tannery over at the kitchen stuff. Um, but I think I'm going to put leather over here. Shop. Leather. Because since we have a windfall of leather. Oops. Um, and then we'll, we'll make an, a second loom there, I think. And these are. Are the jobs happening? Is active. Okay. Uh, you have to make an anvil, add an anvil. Because <laughs> of course you do. What was this? Carpenter, carpenter, boyer. Oh yeah, we moved our mechanics up here. Um. Oh, and, and uh... Ashery? Where should we put... Maybe that'll go up here. We'll do an ashery there and a soap maker. So we don't have any soap yet. Soap. Also, I learned something today. So... Wool, as a clothing thing, you can only use three domestic creatures. Um... The, the llama, the sheep, and the alpaca are the ones that you can shear to make wool, and then you can, sh sh you know, uh, spin that wool into cloth, and then you can make clothes out of that cloth. 
but you can also take hair from other creatures. All the other creatures with hair, apparently, can still be turned into thread. Just that thread cannot be turned into clothes. I thought it was just straight up you couldn't do anything with their hair. But you, you can't shear them. Like, you can't shear wild animals. But if you kill them and then butcher them, the hair can be turned into thread and then that thread can still be used for sutures and bookbinding. T-I-L. So our, our clothing situation is still where it was. We don't have a source, like stoats can't be used for clothing. You can't make stoat wool sweaters as much as I want that. Uh, but you can have stoat hair bookbindings and stoat hair sutures. So, that is helpful. And also, apparently, it doesn't go into a, a stockpile. Um, so I, it'll probably show up in the hospital, I imagine. Or if we start, if we if we get a library going, we can use it for, for bookbinding. But at the very least, if everyone's, everyone's dying, you can, you can always kill, I mean, like you could straight up slaughter a horse and use that hair to make thread if you're if you're in that dire of a situation for for sutures. Apparently that's an option. Anyway, uh, I think we have some of everything at this point. Leather, loom, clothes. We don't have a dyer. It's gonna be a minute before I care about dyeing anything. We have stills and butchers and tanner. We have a fisher, kutcher, Kitchen farmer, um, kerns, that's a thing, and, and screw presses. That's a thing. Not things that will go here. Hey, we're making pig iron. Yeah, and marble. Oh, and that's so we have a marble quarry. We should make a marble stockpile. Here's Jet. This is. What is this? This is fuel, this is iron ore, this is tetrahedrite, that's kalanite. So then we can just do something like this. And it's going to be a stone stockpile, but for marble. And we'll add chalk in there too. I don't think we're going to find chalk, but marble is going to be the main thing. Uh, but fortunately, so we were talking in a previous stream about like the jet. I can't reserve the jet for our block making in particular. It'll just get used for general rock stuff. Uh, but the economic stuff, where do I labor stone use? Marble, make steel bars, make pig iron bars, make quick lime. We're not making quick lime, but uh, because we have this check mark and this was on by default, the marble can only be used for these jobs. So no one's going to be grabbing the marble and making a statue out of it. It's just going to be here for, for flux for our steel production. And then if you want to make steel statues, then you uh, uncheck that check mark and that frees it up for, for general jobs. Um, in theory, we've made our slab. So let's deal with the ghost. Oh, I don't have a space for... I don't have a space for slabs. That must have happened at the crash. Yeah, we'll do... <laughs> we'll, we'll start with that. Uh, how do I... Yeah, let's... We can go there. That's fine. And these are all tombs. Still have. We're, we're starting to fill them up. Oh, we still got several, though. Okay, we're okay. We've only filled a dozen <laughs> so far. Okay, so then that got dug. And then we will place furniture slab. And we'll. I'm gonna pick the one. Because it's gonna be that one. Um, we'll put down some doors. 
Always more doors. Needs door. Fine. Do this. And plant a door. Look! This whole this whole level is gonna turn into a a uh, a jet quarry. Well, not mad. Especially, I mean, we can we can fill in the quarry with like mudstone walls and turn it into more tombs. That's a that's an efficient use of space, I think. Carpenter put to rest. Perfect. Damp stone. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Of course it's damp, it's below water. That's fine. Um, and then see here, so all this magnetite. So now I can come in here and say, auto. And do that. And then they will mine out any magnetite that's in here. And then we can also go this way. I don't care about anything else on this level. This can be a quarry. We could even do... Let's go like this. And it's just gonna keep... It's just gonna keep cancelling, that's fine. But yeah, see, look! As, as they mine out and it reveals new magnetite, it just automatically designates that for more mining. And then they stop when they get to the end. Brilliant! Cool. And that's all just gonna... Like, yeah, she's just gonna straight up come around. All that, right? Hopefully we can find a whole bunch of coal. Or magma. I mean, we've, we've revealed our first two caves and not found magma yet. Which means it'll probably be less convenient than it was last time. Realistically speaking. Yeah, and you can see it makes like all these weird... A lot of times it'll be in like lines, like jagged lines. Um, at least these kinds of ore will. A lot of stone types you'll get like big oles. Like our, our, uh, our marble section downstairs is probably just like a, a big old oval shape uh, if you were to see the whole thing oh and we're saving early summer oh we're about to thaw i am to thaw i do like looking over and seeing all <laughs> all the viewer dwarves i love it And see, I must not have turned done auto mining on those. Um, and then how's our marble? Yeah. This is all, that's all marble. That's all tetrahedrite. That's all marble. Cobalite, cool. Perfect. Um, and this. Uh, a dwarven child has been found dead. Well, that's probably not good. Uh, let's just... We're just gonna dig the whole dang thing. I do want marble. Okay, where is this... Where is this child? Oh my goodness. That's all log. No agitated giant peregrine falcon. Oh, how'd you get inside? No, I have closed this off. Did you come from... You came from in. Okay, okay. That's... We need to trap this. Ugh. I don't have enough cage traps to deal with all these stoats. We need to, we, we need to work on weapon traps. That's gonna be a thing. 
Um, how's how's our squad? Did you find weapons? You you have not. You have not. You have. I mean, these bottom two weren't given anything else. I thought I told you to get, like, a hammer or something. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That's real, real good, guys. I do. Well, how, how are we on steel? Have we actually made any steel yet? Curious. There's a bunch of iron. Oak, charcoal. No, we have some pig iron. So we're just getting started on pig iron. That's gonna be happening here. You're working on anvils. And we're making pig iron. So pig iron isn't gonna go until or steel isn't going to go until pig iron is at 10. But pig iron maxes out at 10. That's really the trick. So really, pig iron should go up to, like, 15. Right? Something like that? Um, oh, and we're, we're still mid-crisis. Of course, now I don't have doors here. Our chief medical dwarf is being cornered by a giant stoat. Great. Um, despite our military not knowing what they're doing, I am going to give them a... No, not station. Uh... Kill. Kill the stoat, please. Prove your worth to me. Oh, there's... It came pretty quick. No! Jeez! Holy cow! No! Chief Medical Dwarf! Oh! Oh, jeez! Some of these stoats are nasty. Holy cow! You are chasing too. You are... This child does not need to be running after the stoat. Ugh. Who are you? Are you a... I thought that was a ghost. It's just white clothing, I guess. Oof. And then you're all just gonna... beat it to death with your wooden crossbows. There we go. My goodness. Well, that's our first... Uh, Successful kill order, I guess. Jeez. Child and doctor dead. Uh, that's all good. Oof. Tavern keeper's fighting. Everyone's fighting. Jeez. Okay, well, now we need another medical dwarf. That's unfortunate. Hi, Master Dog Diagnostician. Cool. You are better than the previous person. Um, let's assign you to the hospital as well. Because you're about to get some customers. Doctor. Chief Medical Dwarf. We even have a backup. Uh, who's... Diagnostician, we have surgeon, no one's good at surgery, no one's good at bone doctory. So we'll just say fish cleaner can be our backup doctor. For those times when the chief medical dwarf gets attacked by a stoat. But look! Oh, okay, so we have our, our soldier here in the hospital. Some wounds. Needs needs dressing, needs sutures, but we can do that now. Yeah, look, it's happening. This child, Nish. 
Uh, also, yeah, I got some cuts. Okay, just cut on the hand. That's not too bad. Oh, we also need to deal with the rest of our furniture for our our people. Oh, and we're we're going. Okay, inactive. What does that mean? Oh, because we're just short on power. Okay. I think that's what that means. But they're not frozen anymore. That's the main thing. So now we just we just need wood. Oh, why are you inside? Lynx is inside. How? How did you get in? Overcome by terror. Did it climb? I'm not aware of any animal that can climb. So this is terrifying. <laughs> oh, and why... What happened to our road here? The heck? What the heck? Was there ice here that I didn't see? And that broke the holding thing. Can you not road over ice? I can floor over ice. So we'll just do that. Can I? I think roads can be. Yeah, I can just not do that tile. Uh, well, this is all rock salt, but not blocks. Uh, right? Yeah, rock salt. Hopefully they can figure out how to use the rock salt that's already here. That's unfortunate. But what do we do with his links? Ow! I just jumped over a lake. That's cool. Uh, there's just a rotten falcon corpse here. Didn't feel anything while in conflict. Oh. Oh, and see, this is already filling up again. For better or worse. How? Did you really just wander in? How did you get over the cages? It just, it can't be caged. It cannot be contained. Or do these not have, all of our cage traps are empty because we're out of trees. So now the giant creatures can just wander into our fortress. <laughs> or okay, this, not into our fortress, but into our trade depot. Goodness, we definitely need more, need more everything. Okay, Bayberry, Highwood, Larch. Let's... There's a pine. Of course, this pine is just going to fall into the lake. Bayberry, Highwood. Larch. Is literally everything except the berries. Fine. Both of those will need to be floored back over. Yeah. Someday, someday we will be in a position where we can leave trees long enough for them to get big and fancy looking, but right now we need wood. I need wood. Okay, and then we have all of these caged ones. And we're still, and of course, like, that's not gonna work. How are we on ammo? I think we're... We have very small amount of bolts. 
and some blow darts, which I don't think we can use. So we should be making... We should be making bolts out of bone? Not that we have a lot of bone either. We could make copper bolts. It's gonna go through our our fuel real quick though. Not, yeah. We have an actual copper job. I think I made just some copper. Yeah. Rock door. Rock door should come up to like five per job. <laughs> We're needing a lot of needing a lot of doors here. Yeah, okay. Jug, craft, floodgate, coffin. What am I Yeah. So let's add smelting tetrahedrite, right? Because there was a bunch of that, and that is a copper ore. Yeah, it's copper and silver. And silver is good for like hammers and such, so that's actually pretty good. Not to mention it being worth stuff. Um and let's keep like Like 30 copper on hand. And then I can say copper bolts. And that will do 10 at a time. If we have fewer than like a hundred? I don't know how like how many bars does it take to make or I guess how many bolts can you get out of a bar? Wood, bone, or weapons grade metals, as with non siege ammo, hunting and military dwarves must be equipped with quivers. Uh, bolt have a chance of shattering, given that. Each job will produce a stack of 25 wooden bolts from a single log, or a stack of five bone bolts taking a single bone from a stack. Metal bolts are a weapon, not a craft, so require weapon smithing, not metal crafting. And a metal smith's forge or magma forge, creating a stack of 25 bolts from a single metal bar. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, so we'll say like 100 bolts, since that's four jobs, I guess. Right? I mean, so 10... Let's... let's do that. We'll see what that does. And then I'm curious if we have enough quivers even for everyone. Where would that even be? Is that a tool? No. No. Step ladders. Look how much we have so much leather. Oh my goodness. Uh Small live animals, just tens of thousands of honeybees. Uh, we have shields. Cool. We even have a, a giant bat leather shield. This human just has a named shield. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Our work relates to the foundation of Elder Ring by the contingent seals of the dip ceiling in early spring of 100. This human, you're not even like, are you even a, a citizen of ours? Oh, we need to make like long stay rooms, don't we? Yeah, so, I mean, human, so not part of our dwarf civilization, but they are a, a legendary treasure hunter with our 
Uh, Contingent Seals is our, our Elder Ring site government. Carrying an artifact shield that has an, I an image relating to the foundation of our capital that we did in our previous stream series. Very cool. Uh, but not to get distracted, what the heck was I doing? We were, we were looking for quivers. I'm going to assume we need some quivers. There's backpacks. We also need some backpacks. Can I just... Did I just not see it? Quivers. We have four quivers. We should make some more quivers. Let's do leather quiver. And leather backpack. And we'll just make... This will just be a one-time order. And that's all we need to do. And no one's... No, someone's... Claimed to be working. Militia commander... They're still... Oh, that's right. There's still a Lynx here. I'm forgetting all this stuff that's happening. Um, while I'm thinking of it, I'm going to designate some cage traps here, even though it's going to be a minute before they have cages for them. But at least they can put the... install the mechanisms and such. Um, is there still a stoat out here? No. I don't see one. Lamb is starving. Oh, is someone immigrated with a creature that didn't make it in here? usually what that means. Yeah, that little little baby lamb. I didn't put it in the pasture. Okay. Oh, that's, that's a lot of stoats. Okay. And you're... Yeah, whatever. Um... Oh, so many... So many things. Okay. Can this Lynx just leave, please? That'd be great. Mm. Terrified while in conflict. You can just go. You can leave. Everything's fine. I'm glad I secured this little area and that's not just connected to the fortress. You can do it! <laughs> but it's warm in here. You can do it! Go on! I'm just gonna chill. Great idea. Do any of these have cages? None of these have cages. We have used all of our cages. Okay, yeah, go... Go be elsewhere, please. Okay, we're chopping trees. Probably opening holes. Open space, yeah, okay. So... Door. In there. It is really hard to tell when that happens. Okay. And of course, like, every time I do that, that tile isn't going to make another tree. I don't think. I wish I could just spread mud on purpose. You kind of can with water flow, but it's That'd be a whole thing. I want to just like... Ooh, human caravan. Perfect. You want to attack the lynx, maybe? No? Okay. 
Where's our monster hunters? <laughs> Why can't our monster hunters take care of the giant stoats and stuff? Okay, we have we have some wood. We are gaining wood. Pine? Was that pine there before? Okay. And once everyone's inside, I'm going to close them off. You are you're with them, right? Okay. Get inside. There's there's giant critters behind you. No? Okay. Uh, let's close this door. Diplomacy. There's much to share. Okay. Um, I guess we don't need leather. <laughs> Oops. Cloth is probably still useful. Oh, and we can ask for wood. You have willow. Willow. Definitely get willow. Willow's a very light wood. It's very good for things like, uh, like wheelbarrows. Stone seeds. I think we have the seeds that we need. I do want maybe weapons? If we could, if we could make enough food, we could make really fancy food and trade it for good weapons. That's not a bad, not a bad setup. Uh, battle axes, more hammers, swords. Which kind of swords? There's like, there's so many kinds of swords. Let's do long sword. Should be fine. Get some crossbows. No, we don't. We don't need crossbows. We don't need crossbows. Um. Oh, and ammo. Yeah, bring me bolts. That'll be good. And yeah, that should be essentially what we want now. Headwear and footwear. Okay. Now, still <laughs> needing all the things. Now, while I'm thinking of it, I keep getting distracted and not digging out holes for our long stay residents. Maybe that comes down in here? We could just do it like this. Because these are bedrooms, this is hospital. We just need... Just need a spot to stick them. These don't need to be as fancy as everyone else is. They might, they'll get smaller rooms. Um, that's, that's the edge, of course. What if I do this? And then we come from here, and then, and then what? You have to do it like this. Really? Is that how I'm? Looks really silly with the small ones. Maybe they'll get packed in a little more. I don't know. I don't even know how many I want to have. Like 10, maybe? Seems like even a lot. Since we're going to be at 50 population. 4, 5, 6, 7. Mm. I don't know what I'm doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, that's that's fine. That will be functional. Um, and then 
I don't know if anyone's still... No doors are way backlogged. I don't know why that's... Why is no one working on doors? You are working on doors, but there should be... I hate, I hate, <laughs> I hate how we clog up this whole furniture stockpile with rocks. And I need to make a whole, a whole other spot just to get them out of the way. Maybe that's what this is. Just a garbage rocks. So it's gonna be it's gonna be rocks, but not the kinds we talk about or want. So not metal ores, not economic, just other. Like even the clay, yeah. Then I'm gonna tell this to not accept from all sources, but take from here. Maybe that'll help a little bit. care about ballistas, but of course we're just now cutting down wood. Um, leather, leather's happening. That's cool. Uh, I was going to make this another, another loom. Clothing, loom. I thought that's important right this minute. Um, we're smelting. We're making pig iron and tetrahedron and, and copper. Very cool. I am really curious why why are doors not being placed? Let's this furniture a thing in here. Not really. Uh, doors. So we have two doors available and a uh, hundred doors placed. Jeez. So it must just be they keep placing them. It says it's active. Okay. There's just so <laughs> many to make. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, trading. I'm gonna wait until this door is actually closed. For the sake of being secure. Oh, you finally made it in. We don't have... Why is this stockpile not... Okay. Open this one. And then I can say, broker requested. And you're gonna be like, I can't access it until the door is open. Right? Yeah, there we go. So. Bins. Do we have any bins of things? Finished goods? No. What happened to our... Are we not making crafts? Is everyone just standing around not making crafts? Here's something. 8,000. What's in here? It's just... it's just everything. Okay. No? There's... okay. Gotta be careful about that. Our, our artifact is in this... in this crate. Of course, we could sell it. I don't think we need to buy that much stuff, but we could. That's gonna be like our only... our only trade goods box. Yeah. Who is slacking? I know I limited this job to just one... one, but usually... usually you got a big stack going by this point. Uh, this is... Yeah. 
These are all things that should be here. Okay. Did it already get moved? Nope. Yes. Okay. Jeez. Worth 14 grand. Okay. I don't think I'm going to sell it cuz Jeez. What is so what's everything but it? Can I do that and then that? 500 Sell everything in the fortress for 500 or this one figurine for 14,000. Cool. The question is, do you have a bunch of stuff that I want? Training stuff, armor, anvils. You don't have a ton of stuff that I care about. Hmm. Giant copper axe blade. And a whole bunch of cheese. On a bookcase. Hmm. Yeah, I don't... I don't know how much of this stuff that I want. But I should trade with them. To encourage them to come back and bring other stuff. Ropes. But all your stuff kind of sucks. Uh, like a single large iron, iron helm, the large stuff dwarves won't be able to wear. That's the trick with humans. Um, yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't really want your stuff. Like even the single, like it's a decorated trap component. Why did you... Why? She's gonna be super expensive. Ugh. Okay, well then how about... There's like a couple instruments. I thought. Large gems. Here. Give me that one instrument, or maybe like this one. Sure. Whatever. Trading happened. Uh, and then what? I just... Close this? I don't know if anyone's coming here right now to grab the thing. Yeah. There it goes. Perfect. So now we can close this. Pull. And then open this. And we're done with traders. Wooden cage has been completed. There's a bunch of wooden things we were <laughs> missing out on. Okay. Needs empty cage times 46. That's a good sign. Oh, look, another stoat. There's even... There's things designated out here for chopping. They're gathering plants. No, that's not... I don't want you gathering from there. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's... Revise this a little. That should be fine. Don't want them going outside the defenses to pick berries. There's plenty of berries inside. Oh, look, we caught a stoat. <laughs> Our brand new cage. And is this... We'll get done eventually. 
Um, we should build some windmills while we have wood, in theory. Uh, do that. Yeah. Human Bowman is throwing a tantrum. None of that. None of that. Is this the one with the fancy shield? Yes. Of course it's a tantrumer. It's from Elden Ring. Elder Ring. <laughs> Are you all gathering around to console him? Throwing a tantrum and listening to poetry at the same time. Euphoric due to an inebriation. Relieve discussing problems with an acquaintance. Embarrassed after starting a fist fight. Don't attack the dogs. You're still still wanting to start a fist fight, even though. Okay, now you're fine. What did you just? A louse. Okay. Human Bowman misses the peasant. Human Bowman attacks the bookkeeper, but he rolls away. <laughs> Human Bowman grabs the stray dog by the second right front toe. Okay, well that was a not very eventful tantrum, which is good. Backpacks are done. Yeah, we're needing we're needing all the logs. Um, of course, we're gonna need more beds for all this. That's really the the trick with these small embark places. Oh, look at all this! And that's all tetrahedrite. Ooh. Look how much look how much magnetite we have! Holy cow! All that, all that, and then this is all tetrahedrite. Jade. Goodness. Let's just go ahead and... It's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, this we need to link. Uh, something in here. Let's say... Cave 1 North Gate? Did I not? I named it and didn't link it. Got it. That. Thank you. Do these actually have cages? They do. That's good. Okay. We're gonna have to, like, open this cave, chop down every tree, and then close it back up again. Ugh. Yeah, I don't like it. There's also this other... There's a lot of marble. There are other cave down here. That I have not been keeping an eye on. There's a bunch of trees down here. Oh, and a troll. I'm tempted to, like, wall in this area and just keep it as a tree farm. That would, you'd have to... Like, trolls can climb walls. You'd have to wall all the way up. the trees. <laughs> I'm tempted to like drain the lake and and mine and then and, and get the trees, but I know how how long that takes. Plus we'd have to wall all that off. Yeah, we there's no draining this. Hmm. Well there's a tree. Unfortunately, they are they are growing. Yeah. And see here, so we had a tree grow here, but it's not close enough to our wall to like branch over. That's really the the key. Why aren't 
There are some things I want you to chop still. Well, look, you are... Migrants? Jeez, okay. Replacements for the dead ones, I guess. Where? Where? Just you? Two? Uh, planter? Fish dissector. Welcome! Um, I'm curious if we've lost, like, our only woodcutter or something? No. They're all fine. Uh... Hunter... Yeah, I'm tempted to make more people hunters. I don't know if that'll... Maybe they'll keep the stoats under control. Oh, we've lost our fisher dwarves. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the rest of our herbalists are also miners. Okay. We're not engraving yet. And of course, our armorers are best. Uh. What you may call it? Engraver. Okay. Why is no one cutting the wood? We don't have. We don't have alerts on or anything. Nobody's assigned to our burrow. Probably the stoat cancelling everything. Oh, look, a crow. Making sure I haven't opened up any more holes in here. Fishing. Hooray. Oh, and see, yeah, okay. So there's no lake here now, but there is lake here. I'm curious how... Maybe if I just <laughs> floor this over, maybe we'll... Hmm. How about this? How about we do some channeling here to kind of square this off a bit? Because we can even... We can do basically like this. Uh, no, we'll, we'll leave a nice little border. Oh. Yeah. Right, so we can do that. And then... I'm even going to floor over these other bits. And this will be kind of above ground farm. I'm going to I'm going to turn this I'm going to turn this pond into an above ground farm or yeah, a surface farm. Hello, little dorks. I was curious like the the number of viewers that Twitch tells me has is smaller than the number of people I see with my own two eyes <laughs> hanging out down there. I'm really curious how that works. Okay. Right? That seems... that seems fine. I'm really... these... These little puddles are weird. I think they're being weird. Carpenters throwing a tantrum. Settle the freak down, everyone. I'm trying to get water wheels going. Uh, let's remove ramps. Curious if that'll help with these 
uh, little water bits. And we'll just leave... We'll just we'll just leave some some ramp there for people to get out. So honestly, if this is gonna be farm, we could roof the whole thing off, and then make a tunnel here to link it with our seed stockpile. Maybe that's the the goal. Stoat. How's, how's our squad? Shield and crossbow. Shield and crossbow. Shield and crossbow. Not even shield. We have shields. I've seen the shields. Why do you not have shields? So now, why don't I just lower this over, except for <laughs> the part where they can get out again. No, we were going through our rock salt blocks. Okay, that's fine. I'll let them make some more. Tantrum. I don't see any blood. Uh, we made we made some pig iron. We made our our anvils. <laughs> Still need logs. I would love to dispose of the critters that are in cages, but our people are not equipped to even, like, punch a stoat to death. One thing that we could do that I didn't do in the previous fortress is instead of having a pit where we just toss creatures in and fight them, we could make a really tall pit where them hitting the ground is actually what kills them. Instead of having, instead of fighting, like right now, the pit that I have set up is kind of for like military training purposes as well as animal disposal purposes. But you could just make like an, a pit whose purpose is to murder animals <laughs> and get rid of them. So maybe that's something that we'll do. Oh, how do we do this? Let's just I'm just gonna be like this. Yeah, sure, why not? And then these are all waiting for logs still. It's already midsummer. Fine, bayberry, bayberry. Okay. Like here, yeah, here's another one. Please, chop. Please chop. Because we have, I mean, we have axes. I swear we have axes. Copper battle axe, bronze battle axe. I don't know what actually gets used for. Maybe just our maybe our battle axes are being used by other people. Yeah, let's do copper axe. I mean, our is battle axe the thing that cuts trees? That's my question. I think 
Let's just make like like five copper axes. Is that helpful for someone? Okay. It's all fine. I'm hoping that this water dries up and that this is like completely dry underneath the windmills by the time everything freezes again and that doesn't get like frozen again. Okay, here. You are gathering plants, but you have a copper battle axe as a as a tool. Okay. Assigned by our work detail. Perfect. So yeah, copper battle axes will be fine. On your Okay. Bringing the stepladder outside. Oh, I have a star. <laughs> I can't, like, move the stars either. Here. Uh, okay. Goodbye, merchants. Needing wood. Oh, I'd love for the merchants to deal with the links. Do you want to... Yeah. No? Lynx doesn't want any. You're... Okay. That was weird. Uh, but, yeah, so we want to... Doing something with all of our critters because we have way too many cages. And that we can't just keep accumulating critters and using all of our using all of our resources just to keep stoats in cages. So in the absence of the ability to reliably murder them. We want to... Like how... We're, we're on the edge here. I'm curious... I'm curious if there's even like a single tile where we can just go... All the way down. No, not through here. Top here. What if we're... Okay, so we could go down to the cave, essentially, from here. Uh, is that what I want to do, is the ne <laughs> next question. Really, the whole... Okay, let's revise some of the stuff here. This is for... It also goes to the farm, yeah. So what if our animal stockpile was actually here? Or at least part of it was, maybe this will also stay. Uh... Do something like that. And then... Something like that. And then... Something like that. So then we can put traps in here. This will be the stockpile. This will be the, the pit for, for fighting things in. This will be the pit for dropping things into so that they go splat. And this is a good level to to put that on. So I don't care about anything in here, realistically. Something like that. And then, yeah, it's just, they're just gonna go 
splat, and then anything that survives. We'll have to do one of these things through some traps. And then they go splat, and then they get dragged back up to the butcher, which is a fair ways up, but there's no real avoiding that, I don't think. Yeah, I think that's what we're doing. So let's do channel. Do that and not that, and then we'll put some stairs just for helping them dig. That. And that is a pit. And then we could even put like some some spikes in there, I think, is is a thing that's helpful. It, this is I do this I do it this way so infrequently that I need to double check. Um, one thing I've heard, just for an example of how weird dwarf fortress physics can be sometimes, is that there's kind of a physics calculation when a creature falls and hits the ground, and they take an amount of damage that's kind of in 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 line with uh, you know how far they fell but it will also take into account the material of the thing that you land on so like landing like falling 10 stories and landing on stone will hurt more than falling 10 stories and landing on grass that makes sense right um, apparently the way it does this is by using the density of the material of the floor that you're landing on so I've seen people do things like make platinum floor for their for their pit situation like this. And that becomes super lethal because the platinum platinum weighs so much that it hurts real bad to fall on. And apparently that's how this that's how this game works. So Oh, there someone's chopping. Come on. You can do it. I know you can. So I'll, we'll let them dig all that. Um, I don't know. We found some platinum ore, haven't we? Maybe we'll maybe we'll just go ahead and do that. Um, right? How do I? Just stones. Still got a bunch of rocks. Oh, that's good. Oh, we're doing so good on fuel. Man. And we have some platinum. Okay. So I'm going to say... No, not that. That. We are going to make some platinum bars. I actually don't know how many bars it takes to make a floor, but we're just going to need one tile of floor for this. The... Melt native platinum wire. Is that? Yeah, that's. Yes, that is right. Um, so I'll just yes, yeah, smelt smelt ten platinum. We'll have some bars. That will be useful, and we'll have some platinum on hand if anyone gets a strange mood and wants to do something cute with platinum. That'll be good. Um, so we have, we have some more logs going. I'm going to let them, I'm going to let them do that. And hopefully not all of it just goes to pages immediately. It might. Uh, those got made. That's cool. Still waiting on doors. Uh, one thing we should do is place cabinets and chests in all of our, our bedrooms. I'm not going to make more beds yet. For our long stay people. That's for sure. Cabinets. Uh, 
This will keep some stone crafters busy. Not that they needed more work to do. I'm glad these bedrooms can count as bedrooms before we have the door made. Because these would people would be out without bedrooms for years at this rate. Okay. And then chests. Bay mood! Perfect. Siege operator. Do you want to make an artifact siege weapon? I don't think that's a thing. It'd be awfully cool though. Um I don't want to select. I just want to choose with filters, set filter. I just want them to be stone. Is that how that works? We'll see if that's how that works. <laughs> and yeah, rock cult. Rock salt coffer. Mudstone coffer. Okay. Cool. And then once we run out of coffers. Should. Yeah, just plan. Box. Okay. Hopefully it waits for stone ones in particular. So one thing you'll find is that things like bags also count as containers in in the menus. So sometimes you'll try to place a chest and they'll end up placing a bag on the ground instead. But if you specify a rock containers, then it's fine. Yeah. Strange mood person. What are you going to do? Stone. Yeah, just grab a stone worker. That's fine. You already... Oh, you already... You grabbed two rocks. And you're good? Okay. That's gonna be a real... Fancy... Masterpiece there. Okay. Um, but our, our wood is mostly inside. Do I have any holes up here? I'm always, I'm very paranoid about an owl just swooping away with a llama child. Speaking of, lamb, baby llama, llama. Cool. Um, and this is, yeah, this has a sheer animal. We should also add a, uh, that's not what I meant. A milk animal. Same kind of deal. Uh, check daily. Yeah. Simple enough. And there's all of our all of our seeds are here. Um, and we need to set up something to deal with our crops. Because we're growing things. In theory, we have plants. Where's plants? We got some pigtails. We got a whole bunch of whip vines. Oh, look at that. Okay. So, I want to make millstones. And screw presses. Siege Operator has created Voom Voom Shardarad Kira Kira Roken an earring and then he claims it. Okay. 
a limonite earring encrusted with cushion light cushion lignite cabochons encircled with bands of oval limonite cabochons okay you made cabochons but not even out of jewels just rocks cool um still waiting for these to be made that's fine You. Oh, we don't need. Don't necessarily need wood for. Or no. Yeah, I think ballista parts are always gonna be wood. So those might just cancel themselves. Needs cage. Um. Why is water flowing? <gasps> Did our waterfalls just all turn on? Did it work? There's a... Okay. <laughs> are you on the wall? How are you on the wall? Anyway, we have power. Cool. That means our waterfalls are working. Yeah! Perfect. And there's some, <laughs> some splashing. That's fine. I am curious to see if the, the mist actually... I want to see them walking through mist. I don't think they're gonna ha get a happy thought if the mist is just, like, adjacent to them. Mm. No. Yes, I want more. Is that so bad? Maybe we just let this go for a little while and see if we can find some waterfall thoughts. I'm curious if it's not... The geometry is not quite right here. Um, but as far as the water flow goes, I mean, there's water... So it's pumping as much as it can, because it can only pump the one, the one layer. You can see as soon as a... Yeah. <laughs> uh, but then if we come up to the top here it seems like it's working water's going to, to each side there's water flowing here this looks like it's working I'm trying not to sound too shocked you I, am, I encountered it a fascinating conundrum recently. Okay. But not a waterfall thought. And this is all... Yeah. Cool. So it, it's, it's working in the way that I intended, so now it's just a matter of seeing if that is a way that actually does anything. Why is this flooded? Is that just from previous flooding because that's <laughs> that's whatever but that's fine well yeah because like the waterfall like the mist can go here but i don't know if it can go here because like, that's too far i'm curious if it would be better we have, you know, a two wide hallway, and then we have a tile of space, essentially. This is a wall grate, and then we have the waterfall behind it. And I'm curious if it would be better to have the waterfall falling in this tile, like directly adjacent to the hallway, and then maybe the mist can come out more. Which wouldn't be too hard to retrofit, I don't think. We'd have to, we'd turn off the water, but that's fine. Oh, speaking of which, we should look up a lever. What's fighting? Giant wolf. Oh, God. Oh, God! Oh, God! What happened to that lynx? Uh, okay, well, there's... Fishery worker got eaten by a wolf. Tendon in the skull has been torn. That's good. Miner. 
gives in to pain. Now, I told you to dig a stairwell so that you didn't fall in. Okay, well, we've demonstrated the effectiveness of our pit because our miner just splatted at the bottom. Are you... A pool of dwarf blood, yeah. Um, let's get rid of the slope. Uh, like this. And then, of course, the I want more cages. Door, door, or doors. Doors and cages, those are both bottlenecks. Very cool. Um, luckily we can, like, stoats won't go through a locked door, so we can just keep the door locked and hopefully anything that survives will be, uh, quite dead. If not, will be quite injured. Okay. So then, similar, let's do some, some doors. I'm also gonna do... I don't want people using this as a stairwell. We have more rock salt blocks. Perfect. That means we can finish this. Possibly. Yeah. Cool. And this, this side too, even. Yeah. Continue. Okay. So now we have we have power. We are using 130. We need one or yeah, we're using 130. We have 160, and then this will give us a, another 20. And millstones don't use that much power, so we have some extra. love for this to get finished. Look, there's a tree. Someone chop the tree. Any more? Yeah. I'm glad that they're growing at least. Cool. Only grow during the warm months, obviously, but that's it's not nothing. Okay. I've got like look, there's there's even a colony of bumblebees just in our courtyard. These are all these are all bayberries. We're gonna have so many freaking berries. Um, are we? How are we using our berries? Bayberries for everything. Okay. And then our bayberry wine. We should cook our bayberry wine. Why not? Our yeah, cool. We're gonna have so much bayberry wine. Why not use it as an ingredient? Okay, so now in theory, this is safe. And we can dig through here and remove these ramps. Now we have another little indoor outdoor farm thing. Maybe this is where we'll do outdoor crops on purpose. This was kind of unintentional. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Because this is, that's plenty of space for some, some whip vine. So we're, we're secure. Oh, there's a wolf. That didn't take long. Fishery worker gone for a week. Did you... What happened to you? I swear, someone grabbed your corpse. Unless it was a bird. I don't think that's a thing. There's just always got to be one giant thing running around. Look, all these are still missing cages. I'm tempted to even say... I'm going to turn off the cage job. Yeah. I'm going to say no more cages for the moment, and then we'll just have to like clear out the cages that we have of the critters. So, like, we have cages, we just need to... 
remove the occupants. Just want to make sure that these these doors exist. And that will be fine. Oh, we're saving. Already autumn. We are moving so quickly. I'm so happy. We're doing like almost a year of stream at this point. You're gathering plants. Yeah. Yeah, look at you all. So good. Cloudberries. Hair grass? Is that what that says? Dense hair grass. Okay. <laughs> no more trees. Someone chopped the tree. And these are... Just bayberries. Oh, there's a pine. Okay. Oh, and there it goes. There, it's all frozen. But we're still active. Our power survived the winter freeze. That's the main thing. Cool. Perfect. I'm happy about that. Uh, so now... Oh, our, our nobles probably want some some furniture. Yeah, I guess. And cabinet. That. Okay. So I'm going to want millstones. Oh, I should make the rest of these nest boxes, too. I'll just do, like... How many do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six... Make six. And then I will want to make some millstones. We went way overboard last time. Four is probably fine. And the main question is how do we get power to the place where we want our stuff? You yeah, see, it's like it's pumping. The pump stack itself runs dry, which is good. It's a good thing these pumps can run dry. That's not true of <laughs> all real life pumps. Uh, but this top is still getting enough water to to go. Okay. That's convenient. Um, but as far as power goes, since we are we're powering our whole our whole pump stack, the power is going from from level to level within the pump stacks within the pumps themselves. Uh, but we can also Like it goes in reverse. If we if we attach an axle to pump that's receiving power from elsewhere, it will transmit power to another axle. So really the question is where can we conveniently get power out of it? Which I think is here. Because we could do like You need to be you need to be careful about about which tile, because water ends up here. You can see for a, a, a fleeting second, but if you were to if you were to dig out this tile, these are diagonal, so the water could probably splash out a bit. Um, so that's why the door is here, and then on this level the door is here, is so that we don't have we're not diagonally touching our little reservoir here. This side is fine because this is a hole in the ground and and there's no risk of, of water coming out diagonally this way 
So if we come out like this, we could have an axle come out this way. And then we would just, I want to go up to this floor. There's got to be somewhere over here that we can go up. The axle can come this way. Something like this. I mean, realistically. There's no reason it can't just come across like this. And then like that. Right? I think that would be fine. We'll need some mechanisms and, and such. Uh, the herbalist is fighting the wolf. Ugh. Did you win? A uh, human bard necromancer. Hi. Or where are you from? The future realm. Hello, I'm a necromancer from the future. The Emancipated Band. Chamberlain. Former Head Cupbearer. This sounds like a religion. Former Master of Beasts. Hmm. The Society of Grottos. Are you a visitor? Your visitor is ready to leave, so you're already on your way out. Just don't... Mess with <laughs> refuse pile, please. It's all still going? I, yeah, it's still going. Uh, hi, Wolf. Would you like to not be here? So, okay, I wonder... Do you all have... Ammo? Doesn't really say. I need to like actually go to them. Uh, you have, you have a crossbow or not a cross. You have a crossbow. You have a quiver, but you don't have. What's the easiest way to just look at the dwarf? No. Equip. No, you got you got meat. It's not... It's not bolts. Hmm. I also like how they just grabbed raw meat to put in their backpack. Like, we have meals, guys. I guarantee it. And there's a bunch of bolts here. Look at all this. We have copper maces. A bunch of crossbows, iron war hammers, copper mail shirt. Mm. I will have to fiddle with that. Maybe off stream. There's, there's crossbow bolts have been have been tricky. I've seen people have issues with them. Uh, needs empty cages, right. Let's see if we can make some things go splat. Maybe that's a, that's a thing we can do. Uh, maybe our doors would get done. That'd be cool. What are you working on? Millstones, offer, door. Like I do want the doors to happen, people. And the, like, they didn't move things, either. Mm. Why? Why? This is all just rock salt. Rock salt can go here. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I will just allow it to take from anywhere. 
Like, we have... Oh, hey, Outpost Liaison. Like, we have people who aren't doing things. People are just socializing. Socializing. Hey, look, a bunch of furniture has been placed. Wow. Cool. Of course, more needs to be made, but that's an always thing. Oh, cool. So you're, you're mining. Of course, it's going to be wet. Um, and this actually wants to be a channel. We'll not, we'll not do that one. We'll do channel. I think we're just going to have basically a power axle coming up this way. And then we'll have the things that use it just kind of adjacent to it. And then any more shops we need to put in here will just come up along this side. I think that'll be plenty. Um, and we have all our nest boxes going. Diplomacy. Now we should probably trade. Uh, bring wood, please. Wood is good. Um, seeds. We're kind of good on seeds. Ammo. Yeah, bring me some bolts, please. Instruments. Instruments are good. Probably fine. Bracelets and musical instruments. Wolf. Oh. Ooh. The merchant is fighting. Is that? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> well, this is the other thing that can happen. If, say, a giant wolf eats a horse... Oh, God. That wasn't my fault. It wasn't me. Oh, and those were the dwarves, even. Hmm... Who are you? Spear Dwarf. Are you from... Yeah, you must be from the... The merchants as well. Where... And then, like, this horse... Has nothing on it. Mule. boy. So, uh, we have accidentally stolen another caravan from the dwarves. Yippee. Are you in this... Now what? <laughs> you're... You're just leaving? This mule is just wandering around. The wolf is just... Full. How many do you have? Uh, one kill. Kill the dwarf. Uvash Viper Sabers, and that's this. That's this person, right? Yeah. Uvash. Uvash's corpse. And that was a merchant. Hmm. I'm surprised that there's only. Like, it was one dwarf, and a mule, and... Like there's no other corpse here. And one... escort? Who is now just wandering off? Oh, you're all just gonna... Okay, let's open this door. Because you're all gonna run out and around. To grab all of that junk. They're just gonna jump on this 
or corpse. And like that, the dwarf isn't even going to end up in our tombs, is it? Or maybe it will. There's a stoat here. Okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oops. Wow, we're going to have a lot of leather. I guess we're good on leather and cloth. Fishery worker found dead. Was that the person who's... Yeah. Why are we... We're not getting alerts on corpses being discovered until like way after they get buried. It's very strange. I don't know what causes that. Uh, damp stone. Yes. Then, yeah. Okay, cool. So now... Machines. Blocked. Needs ground. Yeah, merchants have been founded. Okay. Does this, Can you not put gear assemblies on ramps? You can't put gear assemblies on ramps. Okay, I'll just remove the ramp. That's fine. Uh, gear assembly goes here, and here, and here. And one will go here, but we'll have to put something beneath it first. And then we can place our millstones. Can they... I, do they give power to each other? Can I just do this? That might be all that needs. Of course, these are going to take wood. Oh well. We'll get there. Machines, horizontal. Here. Oops. Cool. And then we also care about... Screw presses, which are not powered. Right? Where? Turns count as farming, but screw presses don't. Here, it's just its own thing. Useful workshop for pressing liquids. Some plants might need to be milled first. Empty jugs are required. Yeah, okay. So I don't think screw presses can be powered. We'll just do that, and I think they just take, like, mechanisms and such. So I don't think I have to make anything special for them. Okay, so then they'll, they'll get going on that. That'll start working eventually. Doors are still a thing. Oh, look, we caught another stoat. <laughs> At least we caught it. Jeez. Uh, let's see if I can make a platinum floor. Uh, no, it's a construction floor right here. Let's just do this. And we have platinum bars. We have 32 platinum bars. Oh my goodness. A child playing in the quarry. Always a good sign. Oh, where are you going? I don't want that to be... How... Huh? Are you grabbing a rock? From the there in particular? Okay, whatever. Um, we could even, like, remove 
<laughs> the stair, then no one can use those stairs ever. Can't get to the top and can't get to the bottom. I'm still needing cages, I'm aware. We're making steel. I see some steel in there. Uh, baby llama! Very good. Okay. Where are you? Yeah, look at that! Single platinum floor. So I know that my doors aren't here yet, but I'm tempted to just throw in a stoat and see what happens. Maybe we'll station our, our dwarves at the bottom here. Just come down here. And then at the top, we make a pit. Except... And then we can just assign. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do the giant stoats yet. Let's do, of course, but you can't drop a bird. Um, we have normal stoats though, right? Giant stoat, giant stoat, dingo people, stoat people. Those are probably kind of fragile. I thought I had just normal stoats. We're all, we're all giant stoats. A bunch of named giant stoats. Jeez. Some of which are agitated. Also the bees. Okay, how about the stoat people? They're probably kind of fragile. <laughs> Maybe. Let's, let's do that and see what happens. Someone should be coming by to... Toss them into the pit. Yep. And then, yeah, so you they need to pull them out of the cage. So this is the dangerous part where they're just using a skill to drag them around. But boop, there they go, into the pit. And that looks like a corpse to me. Stort, stoat woman mangled corpse. Perfect. I'm okay with this. The stoat woman is fighting. Uh, take upper arm takes the full force of the impact. So yeah, this is all just it hitting the ground. <laughs> stoat woman's lower body takes the full force of the impact, bruising the muscle and bruising the right kidney. Tail takes the full force of the impact and is smashed into an unrecognizable mass. The head takes the full force of the impact, and the part splits into gore. Yeah, that's a dead stoat person. Okay. Um, so cool, that works. That should be fine. So I'm gonna move... Or actually, we can just do this. This stockpile. Be paint. Be there. And then... Erase. Here, except. Cool. And then, did we take care of. Hey, look, some migrants. You're still. Oh, we don't even have space for all the leather. My god, we do not. That is too much leather. We're, we're gonna be selling that leather to someone. That's ridiculous. Uh. <laughs> we'll we'll make a uh, an addition to our our leather stockpile here, just so there's a spot for it all. Uh, but migrants, two more. We're re we're keeping topped off from our our deaths. Oh look, a surgeon and a shearer. Be happy, I am. Thank you. Um, and it's snowing. What are you doing? You're storing an item. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, so because that was a stoat person, we can't 
we can't butcher people. Which is disappointing, I know. Um, oh look, cloudberry flowers. This is like, see, this is just straight up outside because it once saw the sun. Um, and we don't have... Just double checking for holes in the ground. Because it would always be bad. I think we're fine. Okay. Um, but yeah, so you, so stoat people are people, so you can't butcher them. But all of the giant stoats we can butcher. And we're gonna get more leather, hilariously. Um, but we're gonna get a bunch of hair out of them so we can turn that into bread. Uh, and not to mention all the meat and the bones and the skulls and stuff. Uh, so dingo woman, giant stoat, stoat woman, giant stoat. Yeah. So, I think I'm gonna say you are going to get some giant stoats. I'm gonna try not to do too many at a time, just in case all hell breaks loose. We'll see how effective our people are at hauling stoats around. Seem to be doing okay. Oh, into the pit. And then down here. Yep, that's... Or no, it's not dead. Now it's dead. Okay. It took a second. But it bled out. And our, our squad is on duty here. Perfect. Yep, there's another. Dead stoat. And dying. Bleeding. Pale. They can, like, just barely survive, even. They're all thirsty. I don't see the... People are gonna have to come in to grab the corpses, so if anything survives... That's really the trick. Um, here. You finish that off, please. Hopefully that's not too big of an ask. If someone had an axe... Okay. Now stay nearby. Or go refill your water bottles, geez. Um, but in theory, all these totes will be butchered. And we got our cages back. <laughs> that's that's really the main thing. Uh, stoat, stoat, agitated giant stoat. I'm I'm curious if the agitation brings any kind of physical ability. If that makes them more hardy in some way. So maybe we'll we'll hold off on the agitated ones for a bit. Needs logs, of course. Sorry for disappearing. Football manager community discovered culture wars. Hilarious. And, and no worries. Don't... You don't owe me nothing. Uh, we're, we're dumping stoats into a pit. How's, how's the culture wars? <laughs> yeah, check this out. Stoat. Pit. All the way down. Corpse. We're, we're getting our cages back. Um, and we're gonna need... We're already gonna need more logs. Needs empty cage, I know. Okay. Keep, keep doing that. That was good. This is working. We have a... <laughs> we have some stoats to go through. There's also the Sasquatch. I'm curious how... how the Satch... Satch... Squatch. Sasquatch does. Stoat people are fine. Agitated stoat people. 
like the wolves and the bears, it's gonna be gonna be a little harder. Well, I mean, we'll free up plenty of cages with uh, just the normal stoat people, or no normal stoats even, because we had quite a few. Yeah. How did you live? Seriously injured. Sometimes they just bleed out. Oh, you straight up healthy. Hold on. How did you do that? Uh, relieved after being released from confinement. You were not released. Uh, you're just a stoat woman. Upper leg takes the full force of the impact and splits into gore. Right? How are you not? What? Ow. Ow. Okay. Kill, please. This is why you're here. Confirm. Yes. Did you get it? There you go. Okay. Oh no, look! How? Do they survive if they land on other corpses? Is that what's happening? Okay, please stick close by. Oh, now we're just gonna have s giant injured stoats <laughs> in the fortress. Uh-oh. I do want to read what you're saying, but I'm also keeping an eye on our stoat situation. No! Okay, let's <laughs> let's hold off. Uh, who, whoever's assigned here now. No one? Already got them all? Okay. Jeez, we have so many. What are you doing? Load cage trap. Okay, perfect. Uh, and then you're just gonna go straight up into our fortress. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Stoat man. Uh, some guy published private DMs of someone politely asking him why he followed Matt Walsh and as a queer person that worried them and did they know he was problematic and was like, I am being cancelled. He's currently making a YouTube video about he's being cancelled. My god. Yeah, literally cancelled, literally told on himself in a published a DM where someone was like, hey, Really and really enjoy these streams because even the music already way more chilled out. Good. Good. Everything's chill here. Everything's fine. No one needs to talk about... I mean, you can talk about it. I'm not going to tell you to stop talking about it, but... We don't need to worry about those silly people here. We were here to worry about stoats in the fortress. Oh, God. <laughs> Well, it's going straight up. Maybe it'll just leave. Okay. If you know the way out, go for it. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, to the, right to the wolf. <laughs> okay, it's gone. <laughs> we got bigger problems than they come in stoat form. Absolutely. Uh, I saw a giant one down there that's still running around. Uh, we should close this again. This is not... Not actually safe no more. Um, well, that was a ruckus. Is, is everyone okay? Okay, I'm just, I'm just checking for, checking for stoats. Let's do a stoat check. It was... yeah, here it is. Okay. I mean, we could probably lock <laughs> lock them in. Oh, I should have locked that door. That would have been smart. Oop. There. Where'd it go? L losing stoats. 
Okay, uh, um, monster hunters? Do we have any monster hunters nearby? <laughs> uh, so I care about that stoat and that stoat. Confirm. Now, I really wish you had equipment. Don't I? I swear. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do off stream is come up with a couple of uh, uniforms. But instead of like having a base uniform and assigning individual weapons, I'm going to have like a uniform for crossbow dwarves, a uniform for axe dwarves, a uniform for hammer dwarves. And assign those to individual. Right? Is that a thing I can do? Or is it just gonna be the whole squad? Hmm. Because hmm, that just makes a new uniform. Yeah, I don't know that I can do a different uniform per squad. So I guess I have to do. Like I have been doing, but. Eh? Okay, well... They've been told to wear things. <laughs> You're just gonna... Okay. Have fun with that. Where'd the other one go? Clearly this could be a little safer. Did you go back down? Oh, there's one down here. Okay, so that one's done. Still a bunch of corpses. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's one. And then the others... Oh, that is the other. Healthy. So sometimes, like, sometimes they just... are fine. Overcome by terror. Just gonna get stuck... <laughs> down below everything. Wounds. I wonder if we can put like a spike trap on top of the platinum floor. That'd be cool. Is... I wonder if that was another stoat. Here, confirm. Won't someone rid me of this troublesome stoat? Oops. There you are. Come on. You can do it. You can do it! Wow. They're all here. Okay. It was a five-person task, but they killed a stoat. Cool. Okay. That... Oop. Who's fighting now? Just the remainder of whatever's happening? Okay. Well, that was a moderate success, I think. Uh, we reclaimed a, a handful of cages. We tested the theory, at least. Um, we've identified some shortcomings. Um, but if we can get the doors made, someone just needs to make the doors. Why is, like, it's literally number one priority. Make the doors. They're not just, like, sitting in here, right? No. No. Here. Add. Let's add a, a manual door task. No, not great. Door. Door. I don't know why... Why is this one not... Taking jobs. 
Uh, that is my biggest takeaway from this game, waiting for dwarves to make the things you tell them to make. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of what makes it... one of the things that make it unique in my mind. Like, you, you compare it to, like, SimCity. And you just... You're still a giant stoat. Oh, this is on the surface. Okay. And we have a, a, a soldier here. Cool. You are not equipped to, you know... But you just have a bone. Upper front teeth. Do you... Are you currently biting this stoat? Hi, creature. You are the peasant. Peasant bashes the stoat in the head with crossbow. Okay. Well, hopefully you're okay. Planter's been possessed. There. Okay. Cool. And there's another giant stoat cage. Jeez. Stoats and stoats and stoats. And there's another one. Ultimately, we're going to need to make some weapon traps. Maybe that's what we're... Maybe we're going to make some copper weapon traps. We could probably make bronze. But we want to replace some of these cage traps with weapon traps so that we can kill stoats instead of just putting them in cages and having to deal with them later. Like, if they just died out here, that'd be great. I'd love it. Here's another tree. On more trees. Look at this. I don't even care if they're berries or something, and they're not. Hello, creature. Are you a giant stoat? Uh, okay. Oh, and you've already begun your construction. What did you grab? Limonite, gypsum, morions, and blocks. Okay. It's not nothing. Like, no one's doing these. And they don't think... Yeah, everyone does stone cutting. We have two legendary stone cutters. Cool. Um, we have two... Two smiths. Probably all fine. People need to be making things. Like these haven't been made either. Um, well, okay, so a lot of the rock got cleared out of here. Not all of it, obviously. Um. So we have mechanics going. I'm tempted to say... I, we care about high-quality mechanisms. Needs logs, of course. And we care about high-quality mechanisms because that is factored into what happens when, like, a weapon trap attacks a thing that's on top of it. The quality of the me mechanism is part of... How, how choppy your choppy bits are. Oh, hey, look, finally. Okay, cool. Um, which means I want someone to get good at making mechanisms. I don't remember if that's a stone. What skill? What skill does mechanisms make? Probably mechanic. Duh. Uh, mechanism labors mechanics. Can I make a mechanic work detail? Jewelry, crafts, engineering, mechanics. Cool. Done. Mechanics. Perfect. 
Now, we have a skilled mechanic. So only selected, and you are going to do nothing else. Oh, and you're in my squad, too. And you're an armorer. Novice mechanic. Ugh, do I take this person out of the squad and make them just make mechanisms? Or do I start training up this minor novice mechanic? Mm, maybe we'll do both. So the skilled one will keep working on training for military stuff. Uh, but then we'll also start training up a backup because Stukas will get eaten by a stoat at some point. Um, oh, but, oh, speaking of, Planter has created a limonite mechanism, offers it to the faithful ore. So, hey, thank you for making a very good mechanism. That's going to get front and center into a weapon trap. Encrusted with table cut morions, menaces with spikes of gypsum, square cut gem and limonite. An image of a gem in stone. <laughs> Cool. On the image is it, on the item is an image of two ogres in rock salt. Perfect. Um, so, a we got a really nice mechanism. B, in theory, who just who just did that? Reg, where'd you go? Reg, you did not become a better mechanic. Because that was... That was a possession. Ugh. Ugh. If that was like... If that was a fey mood, we'd have a legendary mechanic right now. But it wasn't, so we don't. Uh, but anyway, our... Two people will be training on doing mechanics. Um, I'm really curious if... Yeah, we, we could have gotten lucky there. Oh, well. Um, what was I going to say? Oh. I'm thinking... Because we're not using our mechanisms very quickly right now, so they're just going to make mechanisms up to a stock, uh, I know, a stock point, and then stop making mechanisms. But I want them to keep making mechanisms until we have really good mechanisms. So I think what we do, we come into here, type, material, can I set quality? No. Hmm. Other details? No. I want them to, like, keep a stock of a certain number of masterwork mechanisms. And I don't know that that's possible. Depend on another work order. Because otherwise I'm just cranking the number up. Which I can do. Do I like... Can I just like destroy the ones that aren't very good? Mm. Uh, where are the mechanisms here? So... Just glancing at their quality, I'm probably not going to see a bunch of good ones. Yeah. These are all pretty pretty middling mechanisms. It's all these stupid rocks. Ugh. Okay, so I guess all I can really do is say like fifty just make a bunch. 
They'll use some of this rock salt at least. Our trees get chopped. Our trees got chopped. I think we are we're slowly catching up on the wood situation. Oh, stoat. Ugh. I almost need uh we need to keep most of this clear of traps because there needs to be, uh, you know, three width to the depot. But maybe we can just sneak in a, a trap here. Because, uh, yeah, well, <laughs> we'll see if that actually helps at all. to leave. You can just leave. Okay. And then, oh, we, we haven't even bothered with our <laughs> our rat tunnels. That's what, that was the thing I was going to do. Um, oh, are these all powered? Can I tell? No. Oh, I need to make a... Yeah, okay. Mm, gear assembly... Select... Oops. Okay. Mechanism... Gear assembly... Here. Just the worst one. And the rest of this... Oh, we're still waiting on wood. Because of course we are. All our food! We just playing make believe in the food stockpile. What are you just hanging out in the hospital? Okay, that's fine. Oh, well, why is our what's happened to our water? What has happened? We're still still active. Hi, creature. That was okay. So that was the other question that I had is. Do we have an evaporation issue? Yeah, okay. So I think the fact that we're waterfalling uh, is consuming some of the water in that process. Which means now we don't have waterfalls. But fortunately, our... Uh, because we were smart, our wells still work, even though our waterfalls are dry. So what we should do, um, I'm actually going to link, of course, now we can't turn off the pumps without turning off the millstones too. That's fine. Um, I'm going to link one this, this gear assembly to a lever, a depot. So this will be uh, pump stack power. We'll link that there, and that's fine. And one thing we could do, these are already linked to levers, but we can we can relink them. One thing we can do is get fancy with a pressure plate. Let's open this up. And I'm gonna stop like any minute now. <laughs> Once I no, not. I wanted to pull it. Waterworks access. Right? Yeah, water for refill gates. Okay. So, one thing you can do is make a pressure plate that is activated by water. Or can I make it by lack of water? I want to make. I don't even want it here. I would want it on the bottom. Yeah. Okay. So let, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this again. But if we come down here to where the water's coming into the reservoir, like here, uh, 
Um, of course, we're going to need to find a way to get in there. But we can make a pressure plate. Traps, pressure plate. Uh, pressure plates, like levers, are used with machines, doors, floodgates, bridges, cages, and other structures to change their state. Oh, we're saving. Trigger for pressure plates can be set by creature weight, fluid, etc., etc. So in theory, I'm hoping, we'll see if this actually works, this is, I haven't quite done this before. Uh, but we can set a pressure plate that is triggered by no water? Is that a thing we can do? Um, water, so water triggers, water depth, can I, no. One use only. Oh, that's interesting. You can make a single use. Oh, geez, I never noticed that before. Um, but, I mean, so I can't have it trigger on anything but zero. But I could say... Oh, no. How did... Aha! I can't make it zero. Right? I, so, we'll, we'll see if this actually works the way that I think it does. But this would mean... Water depth one. I want the gates to be open when there's not water here. That's ultimately what we want to do. I want to fill... I want to have water coming in from the top until it fills. And then automatically close them again. How do we do that? I mean, if, 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 if we wait until the water comes all the way down here, then there's going to be, like, way too much water. We need to, like... We need to have like a timer. I'm gonna have to think about this. There's a clever solution here that I haven't thought of yet. But I think we can automate topping off a reservoir. Somehow, I think. Uh, is it cute or not that Frank scratches and bites me until I go to bed where he proceeds to be the snuggliest kitten? Yeah. I think it's it's cute, but they're a little dork sometimes, aren't they? You can tell this fort is developing that your advanced your advanced waterworks, yeah. Trying, I mean hopefully we can get them to actually be functional. I I want we'll know that our waterworks are sufficiently advanced when there's no grumpy people in the fortress no more. That's really the goal. Uh, oh, giant wolf is fighting. Are you in a cage? No, you're out here. Okay, that's fine. Um, Jezebel, she used to cuddle in, in bed a lot. She used to, she used to come in bed and cuddle for like most of the night, but recently she hasn't been. She's been sleeping in the living room on her cat tree and but like she still begs me to go to bed. Like there's, there's a, there's, a, she knows what bedtime is. And if I stay up too late, she'll like start yelling at me. She doesn't she doesn't really claw at me too much, um, but she'll like she'll sit down here and be like, hey, 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 go to bed. And it's like, oh, it's she wants me to go to bed so that she can cuddle in bed with me and go to sleep. But no, she she whines at me so that I can go to bed. And then she stays out in the living room and sleeps out here. Like go go away so I can go to sleep. It's so weird. That's like only in the last couple months too. That's not something she's always done. Okay. They were obsessed with routine. Yeah. Oh man. Look at all this grass. Hmm. Um, well, there's plenty left to do here, of course. Jeez. We've made some progress, though. We've, we've 
We dealt with some of our wood issues. We dealt we've gotten some of our cage back. Cages back. We still need a lot of wood though. There's some more there's some more trees. They will slowly keep growing. Frank was so angry we stayed up late watching your vision. <laughs> worst night of the year. That's hilarious. Go to bed, you damn kids. <laughs> Cats are so funny. I... Yeah, I don't know. They're weird little, weird little creatures. Oh, we're milking creatures. We're have to. We should add a cheese job. Add cheese. This will also do five. Check daily. Amount of unrotted cheese. Yeah, how much... How much cheese do we want to have on hand? Let's say like seven. Um, let's say like, like go up to 50 cheese or something. So I think... I'm imagining milk can get used in cooking aside from it being cheese. Never enough cheese? Yeah. I think we've stole a whole bunch of cheese off that caravan. I actually don't know for sure. Food. Where's... Is cheese its own thing? Cheese. We have some cheese. Okay. And this will get, that'll get done eventually. Why are you out here? Do not play make-believe out in the refuse pile, child. There's wolves. Very large wolves. Anyway, I'm... If I continue, I'm just going to find more <laughs> stuff that I need to do. Um, hopefully, hopefully that gets done soon and we'll have, have access to all this stuff. Um, we'll do a good pass on our kitchen stuff and get all those work orders going, making sure that we're, uh, milling our, our whip vine and, and getting honey out of our bees and stuff. And yeah, we can get all that stuff going. Um, and then we'll, we'll do something with mechanisms to, to make our water stuff more automated. Um, something to keep things wet but not too wet not flood the fortress and hopefully we'll make a bunch of doors Ugh. why why does this one not want to take orders very strange anyway like it's not there's, like there's a bunch of doors in here they're clearly being used. I just I must have placed so many already. Anyway, um, we're at our population cap. We're we're going. I, I don't know why wells are stupid now. I don't know. Um, we've accidentally robbed a second caravan, so we have <laughs> so much leather. Oh my god. Oops. If only that was wood. It'd be cool if they just accidentally gave us an entire wagon a load of wood, but what are you gonna do? Okay, let's let's call it here. This is a uh, it's nice and quiet for the moment. Save and return. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So that was. Oh, here. Da, da, da. That was cool. That was Dwarf Fortress. I can, like. I can let you all up here. <laughs> uh, oh, and I can, like. I can, like, bomb you. There's some more stuff to fiddle with this, too. Yeah, of course. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for coming by. 
um, we're gonna we're we're gonna keep doing this. Uh, if if this is the, the kind of thing that you like, then then come back and there will be some more. Um, here, just stars. Um, we'll we'll be continuing this fortress on Thursday, and then oh, you can see my cursor. That's kind of silly. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Climbing is rude. No. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> this is my domain. Can you imagine if there was explosives in Dwarf Fortress? That'd be fun. That'd be cool. Um, but yeah, more more Dwarf Fortress on on Thursday. We're gonna pick up right here. I'm gonna um, I am gonna put in some a little bit of. Of the fiddly work between streams, I'll work on some some uh, what do you call them uniforms. <laughs> Trying to get our squads to actually wear some stuff, uh, but like we've made some steel, we can make a couple of steel weapons. Hopefully that'll help us deal with the stoats. Uh, we can drop off the rest of the stoats down at that pit, get our <laughs> get our cages back, and hopefully get our dwarves some experience with using their weapons. Um, Cause they're a bit green at the moment, especially since they just have leather armor and what you call it crossbows so they'll get there um and yeah hopefully we can get some good mechanisms and we can make some we'll make some bronze weapons i think bronze weapon traps with some good mechanisms make sense i think that will help us deal with some of the creatures in a more in a more reliable fashion and yeah um, that's about it. Uh, what is today? Oh, today's Thursday. Come back on Monday for Mortar Fortress. Come by on Saturday for Sekiro. And that whole nonsense. That that's that was fun. There's stuff going on there that don't know where that's going. Fighting a bunch of shinobis. So cool. Um, yeah. So. I will see you all around, and yeah, <laughs> I got I got nothing. Um, take care of yourselves. Be kind.